Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Jurassic Domination, starring Eric Roberts, so you know it's top quality. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pineys books, one through nine, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Now, uh, the premise is really, really dumb. Uh, the government has a pair of allosauruses that they're going to train for combat. And during their... I know, I, you're, you're already like, wait a minute, wait, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> what? Yeah, they, they have dinosaurs, apparently. And they, want, they think they're trainable somehow. And they're transporting them. And uh, they somehow escape and kill everybody in the escape. And then... They have to send a team to go capture them alive. And here are the actors wearing military uniforms to get those orders. Eric Roberts plays like the general in charge, I guess. And then the Allosauruses escape to a trailer park where they eat the local inhabitants. And the CGI is not great. Um, so there's Eric Roberts as the general. Take care of it. <laughs> Can't act your way out of this one. No, no, this is, this is really, really dumb. And then, of course, they end up going in tunnels, which is an easy place to shoot. Here she is fighting the Allosaurus. There it is there. You can see it's, I guess it's not the worst CGI I've seen, but it is one of the dumbest premises I've ever seen. Just, yeah, no, we're just transporting the uh, Allosauruses. And then they start having eggs, of course, like aliens, and immediately... They're being attacked by the babies. There it is there. I gotta say, it's not right in that shot. The lighting's correct, I think. They got a shadow there. I mean, they don't have much of a reflection though on the floor. Yeah, that's that's a that's a problem. These are weapons of mass destruction, the Allosaurus. Here, I'll, I'll play just a few seconds so you can see. There it is. So, there it is there. It's little, little ones too. They have they have babies at some point in the movie. See the shadows there, but I'm not seeing reflection on the floor. Ooh, that's an error. That is an error, I think. Oh, wait, that's not a reflection. That's the chair. That's the back of the chair. Oh, okay. Still, though. Still. I guess the chairs are in the way for a reason, so you, they wouldn't have to do the reflection on the floor. I don't know. You think that shadow works? I think that shadow's a little too low. I don't know. Anyhow, um, you know, they have, this feels like a movie someone did in their laptop with a little bit of a budget, maybe like $10,000 worth of a budget. Um, but they have Eric Roberts, so they must have paid him a decent amount of money. Jurassic Domination it makes zero sense. It makes absolute no sense. It just starts with the premise, oh yeah, oh no, we've got uh, two Allosaurus here, we're going to train them for combat. That's insane. That's utterly insane. No one would do that, even if there was Allosauruses alive somehow. And uh, these are the actors that have to endure this script. Oofa. Oofa. Don't get me wrong. I would love to be the guy to who have written it. I would have put some good ziggers in it, but this looks not serious at all. Trying to get a, a, a still of one of the dinosaurs, it's tough. They move around a lot. They don't show them very often in the trailer, but enough so you get the idea. Yeah, so right from right from army base to... Uh, is that a stock footage shot? Oh, there we go. Eh, there we go. Okay, that's a good shot of the dinosaurs. Look at him. Um, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. You even got a shadow going across his face, a little bit of lighting, shadow over the other one. I gotta say, it's not bad. I don't think they're rubber suits. But somehow the U.S. government gets Allosauruses, and somehow they thought they could train them. <laughs> somehow they thought, oh, we're, we're going to train these Allosauruses. How did we get them? Uh, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. The first act... We're transporting the Allosauruses because 
we think the audience is extremely generous and will go along with this. Um, they escape. Second act, they uh, assemble a strike force to um, go after them. And I'm sure at that point the CGI stops for a while because you're going to have to eat, eat a lot of time. Oh, what are we doing? Where did they come from? And then there'll be a big explanation of how they found them or uh, grew them, I assume. I assume it'll be they grew them. That, that's a slightly better explanation, I guess. I mean, you get right down. Back in the old old days, they would have the explanation would have been, oh, no, no, we found a valley that's, that's full of them. No, in this, in this movie, I'm going to guess that they grew them, like Jurassic Park, you know? Oh, we found, we found the bone. We found DNA in a bone somewhere and grew Allosauruses. I don't remember Allosauruses being this vicious, but maybe. So there's only two of them, and somehow nobody can shoot them. And um, mm -hmm. then they have babies halfway through the movie, and uh, they hatch and they start attacking people too because apparently baby ones can even be deadly. And then the third act, they kill them. So, if you could sit through this ridiculousness, um, I mean, this is the kind of B-movie you'd sit through to make fun of. I, I wouldn't consider this a serious watch on any level. And I would laugh my A off every time Eric Roberts is on the screen. Because he's almost, he kind of was a serious actor for a while. Unfortunately, he, you know, he's sort of in the B-movie level now. And he's kind of languished there for a long time. Every once in a while, he like, reappears into something that's a little little more highbrow, but it's a shame. I mean, he's not a bad actor. I mean, I make fun of him because he's in these movies. Uh, but it feels a little bit like Lou Gossett Jr. Back in the day, we used to say, oh, poor Lou, Lou Gossett Jr. He's in the more, he was in the worst movies sometimes. Um, but this, Jurassic Dominion. Imagine you get this script as an actor. Jurassic Dominion? Doing a Jurassic Park? Well, not really. We're doing... <laughs> See, they got the name... They can use the name Jurassic, and so instead of Dom Dom Dominion, we're saying Domination. See, there is a second-tier level of movie making where the filmmakers, all they do is try to make movies that kind of sound or are near popular movies. But the problem is you got to put them in production around the same time the other movie's coming out. So you got to hear about it uh, with enough advance warning that you could get a movie in production and you got to sort of gauge whether or not that movie will be hot. Now, Jurassic World uh, Domination, the, the Chris Pratt one, I don't know how well that's... I mean, it did pretty well initially. I don't think it's doing nearly as well as Top Gun. It's kind of going to fade by the wayside now that the Elvis movie is coming out, I think. Um, so, I mean, you could see that... I think the filmmakers probably sat down and said, oh, let's do Jurassic Domination. They don't own the rights to that name. No, you're right. And it sounds pretty similar. And we can make some money from people who, oh, Jurassic Domination. I wanted to see this movie. And then halfway through, wait a minute. When is Chris Pratt going to show up? <laughs> I don't think you really fool people with that, but people might rent it based on that. And there is a subgenre of dinosaurs that people just like, so... Will it be good? Oh, no. I think this will be awful. But this will be awful in a fun way. It'll be so awful, it'll be like, oh, yeah, let's watch this movie. It's so dumb, you got to watch it. That's that's the kind of movie I think it is. So if you're looking for a dumb movie to watch, I think this this will be your jam. This will totally be your jam. Um, of course, you're going to have to wait till it gets out on, like, uh, video on demand. But, yeah, I think this will be a really, really good bad movie. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. And we'll see you in the next one.